Hey, welcome back. In the upcoming 1.3 Genshin Impact patch, you'll be able to choose one of these characters for free. And so today, we're gonna go over them and to see which one is the best choice for you. And so I spent some time and generated this tier list for you. Starting off at the very top, this is the waifu tier, meaning that you should be picking for your waifu or a character that you want to play but you don't have. For example, if you don't have Beidou but you want to play Beidou, then pick Beidou. If you don't have Ningguang but you want to play Ningguang, pick Ningguang. Or perhaps you're a Ningguang main, or perhaps you're a Ningguang sim. In that case, feel free to pick Ningguang as well. Because for you, anything that power up your waifu is what matters to you and it gets you a step closer to that constellation 6. The opposite is also true, meaning that if you never plan on playing that character or using that character in your team, or using the specific team that required that character, then feel free to skip those constellations for another one that might be more suitable to you as well. Overall, it is dependent on how your roster is going, how your team are building, and so you should think for yourself on whether or not this constellation is really impactful for you. Anyway, let's get started. Starting with the very top, if you don't have Xingxiu, pick Xingxiu. Xingxiu is an amazing sub DPS, does really good amount of damage. Uh, his Hydro application is also really good as well. Uh, used very very often in Freeze team, used very very often in Vaporize team such as Deluxe Xingxiu, Klee Xingxiu, Banner Xingxiu. Overall, very very versatile character, very very good character. A very easy first choice here if you don't already have him. And then moving on, we have the C4 Shangling, which is a 40% increase in the duration of her Pyro Tornado. Similar to Xing Chiu, uh, Shangling is a very versatile Pyro support, uh, with her Pyro Tornado currently being the only reliable, deployable uh, Pyro skill in the game. She's used in Melcom like Ganyu Melts, Kaya Melts, used in Vaporize Com like Vaporize Chayo. Uh, or you can just use her as a power support such as using it for your Deluke or your Bennett perhaps. Overall, 40% duration increase is super important if you ever plan on running any of these comm I just mentioned. So this takes the second spot on the list. Uh, moving on, we have C2 and C6 for Xing Chu, which are all really amazing. Uh, C2 Xing Chu extend the elemental burst duration by 3 seconds, which allow you to cycle it a bit better so you have better uptime on that. And as a nice bonus, you also decrease the hydro resistance of your enemy, which make you do more damage. And for C6, it's pretty much similar. You do more damage and you regenerate free energy whenever your third sword hit a opponent, which allow you to cycle your elemental burst again a bit better, making it easier to be 100% uptime. Moving on, we have C2 Beidou, which allow your elemental burst lightning to jump two more times. Know that while it's a two additional target here, it actually means just two more times, like you can jump back to the same target that you have hit before. So overall, this is just a really really flat, uh, nice damage increase. I think math wise, it's about like 66% increase. Uh, Really good for both main DPS Beidou or support Beidou, like if you're playing a official Beidou composition such as the Firework Child that I posted on my channel before or the Taser Sucrose that Jinx recently posted on his channel and so this is a really really good constellation to have as well. Uh, next up we have C6 Ningguang which I think is self-explanatory. Turn her into a crazy high damage machine when you use your elemental burst. Uh, the reason why I didn't put this into must have is because this only matters if you play main DPS Ningguang. So if you don't ever plan on playing Ningguang, you can definitely skip this in comparison where Shangling and Qingqiu uh, are much more versatile and used in many many composition. C2 Chonghuan. It reduced the elemental skill and elemental burst cooldown by 15% whenever you cast it in his frost field. Uh, overall, a really nice versatile elemental burst or constellation if you ever put Chonghuan into your team. Uh, whether you put him as a standalone uh, for shield breaking purposes or you put him into some kind of freeze team like the Kaya Chonghuan freeze team before. Good constellation for any of your party member as long as uh, Chonghuan is in your team. C2 Xingyan, 100% critical rate on your elemental burst. 
allow you to stack only critical damage and play a full crit damage Xin Yang kind of playstyle. Not a bad constellation to have if you ever plan on playing Xin Yan. Okay, C3 Xin Xiu. A generic talent level increase elemental burst constellation. Uh, overall, I rated all the talent level increase constellation, whether it be elemental burst or elemental skill in the very very bottom. So the a lot of the elemental bursts are in the semi decent tier and the whatever tier are usually the elemental skill. And the reason of course is because personally I feel like talent level increased constellation are not a deal breaker if you don't have them. As in they don't really change the game or change the way you play the character even if you don't have them. They're just like oh do more damage on this thing. So overall to me they're not really impactful on a player experience basis. The only exception is that I put Xingxiu Elemental Burst up here because Xingxiu is just so good, so versatile uh, as we have mentioned before in terms of damage, in terms of application and so I end up putting this one up here because it is probably better than the alternative. C1 Shangling C6 Beidou, corresponding elemental resistant down. Uh, increase their own damage a little bit is really nice, but overall really only matter if you put them in a pyro team or in a electric team. So these are a decent constellation to have, but again not a deal breaker. Uh, C6 Xin Yang, spin to win constellation, overall just do more damage on your spin and let you spin longer. Uh, decent one to have if you play Xin Yang, otherwise it's uh, not too important either. The rest of this tier list is pretty much just conditional damage increase or generic talent level increase constellation. And when I say conditional damage increase, I'm talking about something like C4 Xingqiu, C4 Chongyang. And for example, C4 Xingqiu require you to cast your elemental skill during your elemental burst to do 50% more damage. And so it is very very conditional on you having to do both of these things. And for Chongyang, it is conditioned on using Chongyang to hit an enemy affected by Cryo and even then you only regenerate one energy. So overall, all of these constellations to me are not really impactful, they're not deal breaker if you don't have it, and they're not really noticeable in terms of experience either. Therefore, they are either semi-decent which means they have minor benefit when you use them correctly or a whatever which means they pretty much have no impact. So that's pretty much it for the list, in my opinion at least. Uh, as a final reminder before we end off that the list is meant to serve as a basis or a starting point. Uh, and all the comment I make, you should take into account and evaluate which constellation is going to be the most impactful for you. And you should be picking the one that you need the most. And so that's it for this video and I'll see you guys next time.